In this tip of the day, let's take a look at using the Extends feature when simulating toolpath within one CNC. Now, whenever you simulate toolpath, one CNC is going to show material being removed from stock. So because of that, we're going to need a way to define the stock. And that's exactly where Extends comes in. Now, if we head over to the NC Manager, you can see that I've already applied two machining operations, a facing operation at Z0 and then a profiling operation. All right, now let's simulate the toolpath. I'm going to right hand mouse click, select simulate rest. Now within this dialog box, this is where we can define the parameters of our stock. Now when using extents, our stock's always going to be prismatic shaped like this. It's going to have a width, a height, and a thickness. Now to keep things simple, let's talk about the actual thickness of the stock. I'm going to uncheck automatic stock. And here we have two values, Z top and Z bottom. All right, that's the top of the stock and the bottom of the stock. And it's important to remember that these values are absolute. So if I type in zero, that's Z zero. And if I type in a minus 2.5, there we go. That's going to be the bottom of the stock. So top of the stock and bottom of the stock. Now remember, my facing operation was at Z zero. So I probably want to make the top of my stock a little bit bigger. How about 10 thousands? Okay. That looks good. I'm going to leave everything the same and we're going to talk about this offset in just a second. Let's click OK to that. And here we go. Because we said the stock was 10 thousandths thicker, we're seeing 10 thousandths of stock being removed for the facing operation. Now I'm going to let this profile operation finish and I want to direct your focus right to this thickness right here. This thickness here is 100 thousandths and this thickness here is also 100 thousandths. And that was actually generated or caused by the offset we put in. If I close this down, we'll go back into our simulate. Notice there's an offset here. That was set to 100 thousandths. If I check this and type in a different value, let's say 200 thousandths, let's click OK to that. Now that distance from here to the edge of the part is 200 thousandths, okay? So that's how offset works. Offset takes a look at the toolpath. It adds whatever offset you put for your toolpath as well as the diameter of the tool, and it creates that distance right there. So in this example, simply put, this distance from here to here is 200 thousandths. All right, that's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.